ほう向かってくるのか逃げずにこのディオに近づいてくるのかせっかく祖父のジョセフが私のザワールドの正体を試験終了チャイム直前まで問題を無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄無駄So for this project, you're going to need an X-Acto knife, a metal ruler that you're not afraid to draw around, a self-adhesive mounting board that looks like this on the other side, one piece of mat board, and a water bottle to stay hydrated. So what we're going to do is tell the cord to f So we're going to start off by marking the very bottom full square. You're gonna want to put it over here and start to mark 15 squares all the way diagonally towards the last one. Again, 15 diagonally, counting the first one and the last one. Once you do that, let me know. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna need you to follow the design as it goes right here, okay? So, first off, we're gonna... Oh my god, this cord is gonna... First off, you're gonna wanna go two up, right there, right here. Is that better seen? Absolutely. So you're gonna wanna be marking it in this sort of pattern. It's a little bit hard to describe, but you gamers should know exactly what a Montreal sword looks like. Too. It doesn't matter how much of the sword you mark at this current point, because you're not going to be showing any part of this board, okay? You want to start marking in key points where the sword is located so that you can make easier and more clean cuts. A quick disclaimer. An X-Acto knife is a sharp knife. It can cut you, okay? Make sure to not put your fingers in the path of the X-Acto knife, and do not point it at yourself, others, like animals, or anything else, okay? Poke holes through each little bit, about three holes per square. I know it's gonna be very annoying, However, it's much easier and it doesn't rip the paper and it's gonna give it a finer, more clean look. You would do that as shown here. Now you actually start cutting. Don't use too much power and draw it into you. You're mostly trying to push it down through all of the material on the current cut. And sometimes some of it will stick through and that's all right. When you're on cuts like these, make sure to be careful to not cut into this part of the sword. Because if you draw too hard, you could cut through part of the sword and that's not something you wanna do.
check where the cuts are not fully made and probably either A, do it through this part, or B, which seems a little bit safer for the sword itself, do it the through the actual, just flip it over like so, and just cut right through there. Next, tap it out of its shell and cut where the paper is still connected. So, as far as I know, you cannot recycle these parts of the board. Next up, you draw an outline of the sword on the mat board. If you can, position it so that there's only one piece of mat board being used. However, if you have to, you can use two pieces. Now, cut the outlines on the mat board as cleanly and as carefully as you can. Take the two pieces of mat board and start drawing lines all over them. Make sure to line them up well. Take the marked side of the poster board and begin to take off the layer that is on top of it. Then add the mat board. Take a strong form of any glue and begin to apply it to the sword. Don't apply too much but make sure to apply it to all corners so that they don't start to peel off. Finally, apply pressure for approximately 30 minutes. Once you're done coloring, you have yourself a fully finished product. Make sure to hit like and 